Happy holidays, Christmas crew, and welcome to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. My name is Shannon, and if you are looking for simple and inexpensive gift ideas that are still thoughtful and nice, I have 25 gifts in a jar ideas for you today that would be great for everyone on your list. And they're simple and easy enough that anyone can make these. Dollar Tree has great jar options, but buying jars in bulk is going to be the cheapest way to go. It's hard to go wrong when you're giving food as a gift and I have several ideas for you. And first up, we're gonna turn this jar into a shake and pour pancake gift. So we're gonna grab some pancake mix from Dollar Tree. We're gonna add about a cup of that mix into a pint sized jar. I love these ball jars because they have the measurements on the side so there's no need to get out your measuring cups. We're gonna shake that in there and then we're gonna add the lid right back on top. Of course, you definitely wanna make sure you are cleaning and washing out those jars before you're adding any kind of food to them. We're gonna dress this up with a little bit of fabric on the top, take a rubber band, put that right over the top to hold it in place, and then you can add ribbon or some string to dress it up. We're not quite done yet though. We need to, of course, make sure the recipient of this gift knows how to make their shake and pour pancakes. So we're making a simple tag with some cardstock and just writing out that it is shake and pour pancakes. And for this size, we're gonna add three fourths cup of water to that, and we're gonna punch a hole in the top and tie that onto our string and onto the lid of our jar. So of course, these are so quick and easy to make. And honestly, I kind of would make several of these, keep these in my cabinet so I can make them for breakfast really quickly and easily. So of course, a great gift idea, but maybe something to add to your own pantry too. We're gonna also turn some of this chocolate chip mix into a really sweet gift idea. Again, taking the contents of this package, which is from Dollar Tree, we're gonna shake that into our clean mason jar and then add the top back on. Now a little trick here is we're going to cut out the ingredients that also need to be added to this mix along with the instructions for baking the cookies. We're just gonna trim that out with some scissors, fold that in half, put that on the top before adding our band, which is gonna twist this right on there for us so it stays, it kind of decorates it up, but it also of course is purposeful because we want our recipient to know how to make these cookies after they receive the gift. To decorate this one up, I'm using some ribbon and using a little bit of hot glue to just decorate decorate the top of this mason jar lid, twisting a little knot and then adding a miniature cookie cutter, which will be so cute to give and also very useful. You could even take this gift idea up another notch by using a larger sized jar, add your ingredients in there and add a fun topping like M&Ms or chocolate chips onto the top that really makes it look nice and also extra yummy. A very similar idea to the last one, you can make your own little muffin mix or even brownie mix gift idea. This one is our brownie mix. We're gonna add that into our jar and exactly like our last one, we're gonna cut out the ingredients and the instructions. We're gonna twist that onto the top of our lid and tie on a little cookie cutter. So, so cute, simple, quick and easy, and also obviously a yummy Christmas treat. And as I said before, Dollar Tree has lots of great options when it comes to jars and storage. These larger size jars are really, really nice for adding larger amounts of ingredients to, or I'm gonna show you a fun little decorative, but also useful gift idea. We're gonna pair it with these chalkboard gift tags. They come in a set of four, so it's a great deal. We're gonna use a chalk marker and you can write whatever you like onto the chalkboard. I wrote kitchen on mine. We're gonna dress it up a little bit with some Dollar Tree ribbon, just tied a knot in the center and trim down the edges to make the ends cute. And then use some hot glue to attach the ribbon onto the top to cover up that hole and then you can E6000 or hot glue your tag right onto the front of this jar and then you can add some simple and inexpensive wooden spoons, kitchen tools, and supplies into this jar. It makes for a really cute and easy gift. All of these wooden spoons are from Dollar Tree and came in a set for $1.25. It was a great bargain and deal so keep your eye out for those. Hot tea is another great gift idea for the holidays, especially for the cold winter months. And Dollar Tree has lots of different options. I love the immunity boost one. Sometimes we need that extra boost during the Christmas season for energy and just 
to feel better and we're gonna pair this with a mason jar mug also from Dollar Tree they don't come with lids but the lids do fit on them so if you'd want to put a lid on here you absolutely could from a different jar we're gonna put some of those packets of tea down into the jar and we're gonna twist some twine around the top a few times to tie it on and also dress this up a little bit we're also gonna add a cinnamon stick onto this just to dress it up make it cute and also make it smell really good too these cinnamon sticks are from Dollar Tree as well keep your eye out for them because that is the cheapest place I've ever found cinnamon sticks before and they're usually out during the holidays so definitely keep your eye out on those of course if you have a coffee drinker this would be a great gift idea for coffee instead of tea too this idea is great for the movie lover in your life. We're going to grab some Pop Secret microwave popcorn from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three, and actually all three packs fit right down into a pint-sized mason jar. You could also add some candy into here. You could add a gift card into here as well for a movie or a theater. I found these free printable movie tickets online, and I'll make sure to link that down in the description box below too. I just printed that off on some cardstock, tied that onto some twine onto the top just to dress it up. But again, you could even purchase real movie tickets and add those on there as well. So this is a versatile gift idea, especially great for those that love movies in your life, whether it's staying home to watch a movie or going out. Hot chocolate is a must in our house during the holidays and all winter long. And it's so easy to make a little hot chocolate gift set to give with a mason jar. This is a pack of three. You can get big boxes of these at Dollar Tree with several in a pack. So you could even get several gifts out of one box of those. I found this really great hot chocolate spoon at Target that was a little bit fancy. So we're going to tie that right onto there. But Dollar Tree also carries some fun peppermint spoons that you could use or you could make your own hot chocolate spoons too and really make this a super special gift. But this is just a fun idea and you can even make your hot chocolate in the mason jar and have a fun little cup of hot cocoa. We definitely don't want to forget our furry friends during the holidays. We always give our pets something at Christmas time too. So whether it is for your own pet or a friend who has a pet, this is such a sweet gift idea. Dollar Tree has some uh, treats, but definitely keep an eye out on which ones are the healthiest for your pet or maybe even home make your own treats to add to a mason jar. We're going to add a little gift tag on there because these treats actually look like real cookies. We definitely don't want somebody getting this and thinking it's for people. So this is a metal gift tag from Dollar Tree. I just drew on a bone, made sure to write dog treats on there before tying it onto the top of this. And this is just a really quick and easy gift idea that's affordable, but also very thoughtful. If you're new here, I want to say welcome again. Please subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss a new Christmas video as we post here every single week. Dollar Tree has lots of great cat treats and toys, so this would be another idea to put these in a jar, tie it up, and give it as a gift. Gift cards are one of those things that I like to give in a fun way, and this one's super duper easy. We're gonna take some scrapbook paper, we're gonna cut it down to the length and a little bit longer than the length of our gift card, and then we're gonna fold this up into our paper, just kind of marking where we wanna fold this, and then we're gonna cut that down to size two. We're basically making a little pouch or envelope for our gift card. We're gonna take some adhesive, run it around the bottom and also the one side, and that is going to fold our little envelope up and make us a little pouch for that to slide right down into. Now, if you can find a gift card that has a Christmas style or design on the front, you probably could skip this step, but this is still a fun, cute way to actually give a gift card. We're going to pair this up with some candy. I love these melts. I love peppermints, but these are fun because they actually melt a little bit quicker and they're more soft. So it's just kind of a fancy peppermint, if you ask me. We're going to also tie this up with some Dollar Tree ribbon, put that gift card in there, and then another super quick, easy way to give a gift card. 
If you don't want to give a gift card, you can also put money straight into the envelope too. It's a fun way to conceal it. Up next, we are going to add some bird seed into a mason jar. I actually give my grandma something for her birds every year. She is such a bird watcher, so I always find some cute ways to do this, and this one is going to be this year's. Just some bird seed into a mason jar. We're gonna use some hot glue to wrap some ribbon around the top to kind of make the banding on the lid look a little nicer. And then this bird is from Dollar Tree as well during the springtime, but at Christmas time, you can find red cardinals, which I feel like is a little bit more Christmassy looking, but maybe you can find a bird that is whoever you're giving this to's favorite kind of bird. I love this. It's just a simple way, and it's also very thoughtful for those bird watchers. If you have creative friends and family in your life, then I have some ideas for them as well. We're gonna make this one into a gift idea for someone who loves to sew. This is a little pet bed from Dollar Tree that I bought because I just basically wanted the inside of this. It's the cheapest way to get some stuffing versus actually buying the real stuff from the craft store or even Walmart. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the flat lid and I'm hot gluing on some fabric. And then I'm using the stuffing from the Dollar Tree pet bed to fill in the center there and then hot gluing up the rest of the edges to keep that stuffing in there because we're making a little pin cushion for the top of our mason jar. Adding some hot glue into the band of our mason jar and then pushing that lid up in there that's gonna keep it all tight for us. And then go ahead and take your scissors, cut off any extra fabric from around the edges. Dollar Tree has lots of great sewing supplies in their crafting section, so keep your eye out for those. This is a little miniature travel sewing kit from Dollar Tree that has kind of all the essentials in it in miniature form. There is thread, a tape measure, even a little thimble, buttons, safety pins, kind of a good starter kit. We're gonna pair that with one of these miniature pairs of scissors from Dollar Tree as well, sitting that inside there. Go ahead, twist your lid back on there, and then we kind of have a great little pin cushion cushion on top. And this is also not just a great gift, but might be something you'd want to add to your own craft stash. Keep in a car because it would travel really nicely too as a great emergency kit to have on hand. Dollar Tree also has some great mason jar lid accessories. If you can find these, grab them. They're so useful for so many different things. They're called decorative lids. I think they're called more like a frog or something like that. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But they twist right on. They have a wire mesh that has little separators in them that you can use for making flower arrangements. Or they're great for the artist in your life, adding some pencils down in there. And that's just a fun kind of way to add some art accessories and give them in a fun way. But think other things too, like pens or even some paint brushes. If you know someone who just loves to craft in general or even does more paper crafting, this is a fun gift set. We're adding those miniature scissors in there, some glitter, a tape measure, some miniature punches, and some washi tape. This is a little gift tag that I made using a cutting mat from Dollar Tree. I'll link that video to show you how you can do that on your Cricut machine up in the iCards and link down below because they make the cutest little gift tags. But what a fun kind of creative bundle in a jar and such a thoughtful and creative gift to give to someone who is also creative. This next gift idea is perfect for the little one in your life. Grab yourself some Play-Doh and also Dollar Tree carries some great Play-Doh accessories like this gift set or this gift pack right here. We're actually going to take our Play-Doh out of its container and we're gonna smoosh that down into a ball, kind of work it so that it gets to be a little more pliable. Put that into the bottom of our jar. It looks a little bit handmade, but it's not. But you can always make your own handmade uh, Play-Doh as well. This had some awesome little tools in it. This one, absolutely going in there. Lots of fun things on that little toy. And then we're also gonna add some of those cookie cutters or Play-Doh cutters down in there that would fit. And then the roller was a little bit too big, so we're gonna use that on the outside of our jar as a little accessory. Some other ideas to give for little ones would be definitely browse the toy aisle at Dollar Tree. You could add some matchbook cars into one. You could add some crayons and a little notebook into one. Definitely look for smaller items that would fit. 
Now we're gonna make a tool gift set, which would be great in a crafting space or a workshop. Dollar Tree has lots of great tools that fit right down into a mason jar. This is one of the larger ones. I had some wire, a level, some screwdrivers. These are Allen wrenches that all fit right down in there. We're gonna decorate this up with something a little bit more rugged. This is nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Just tie that around the top, add a little bit of hot glue to keep it in place. Trim the edges down so it looks a little bit more or rugged, maybe something for somebody that is not so crafty but loves to build. Now we're gonna do some pampering ideas in a jar. We're gonna add some tissue paper into the bottom of this to give it a little bit of color. And then we're gonna add some fun things in there like some nail polish. And this is actually a really nice nail grooming kit from Dollar Tree. It comes with lots of little accessories that fit right down into a mason jar. A little extra little thing I did here was I actually took one of these butterfly nail files and I took a hole punch, which is also from Dollar Tree. Punch a little hole in one of the wings. We're gonna use that for a decorative little element to tie onto the lid. So once I had everything in there, put the lid on, found some glitter ribbon at Dollar Tree as well, and put that through our little butterfly, tied another knot, trimmed that up, and what a cute little gift idea. I'm sure you see a running theme with all these ideas. They are so simple, so quick, so easy, obviously affordable, but so thoughtful too. Next, we also are going to grab some hair ties and some hair accessories from Dollar Tree. They have so many great things to choose from. They even have these small little combs and miniature brushes that fit right down into a mason jar. So this is a really fun and easy idea. We're gonna take these little spiral hair ties. Actually use these myself, they're really great. So if you see them, grab them. They are super gentle on your hair. And like you can see, the little brush fits right down there too. And then instead of putting these scrunchies inside the jar, I use them as the decorative element on top. So I love that this jar is not only a nice storage thing, gift wrap thing, but also you could put lots of scrunchies down the side as a display for hair ties too. Now we're going to grab some of these shower fizzies. They also have great bath bombs that you could use instead too. We're also gonna grab one of these bath gloves. And this is the cutest little miniature plastic mason jar from Dollar Tree. It has a fun candy cane motif on the top. And the bonus here is that the label comes off really easy. And I wish I would have grabbed two of these shower fizzy packs. They come with three, but six would have fit in this little miniature jar. As you can see, there's a little bit more room in there. You could throw some tissue paper in there too to fill up some space, but we're actually going to cover this up anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. We're gonna slide the jar into our exfoliating glove and then decorate that up with some twine and a little piece of greenery to like make it look a little more Christmassy and give it as a gift. If you don't like the glove, I think some uh, uh, little socks would be cute for this or add an eye mask on there wrapped around the sides for another idea. Bath salt is another really great self-care item to give for the holidays. And Dollar Tree has lots of nice ones lately that smell really good. We're gonna grab this smaller jar from Dollar Tree to make this look a little bit more high-end. And it's really just that easy to take something that looks like it's from Dollar Tree and make it look more nice and fancy. So to get this bath salt into that smaller jar, we're gonna take a piece of paper and we're gonna twist that up to a funnel and then funnel our bath salt down into the container. Then go ahead and add the lid back on there. We're gonna make a custom label for this too. You can find these chalkboard stickers at Dollar Tree. We're gonna take one and we're gonna use our chalk marker to label it as bath salt. You could also print off your own label if you didn't wanna do this method, depending on how you want these to look. Just stick that right onto the front there and then I added a little bit of twine and another little piece of greenery onto that. So just take something that might look a little less nice and adds a little special touch and gives it more of a high-end look. This would be really cute in a gift set. I fell in love with these adorable little miniature mason jars. They have a handle on the side and the cutest buffalo check lid on them. So I grabbed one of those and thought this would be the perfect way to give some spices for the holidays. So say you have a secret recipe for your barbecue or somebody loves your barbecue, you could put all of the seasonings and spices into a jar like this without giving away the ingredients to your special or secret recipe. 
Now you can make your own candles out of a mason jar or head to Dollar Tree. You can find them already made and actually these burn really nicely and smell really good too. We're just gonna dress this one up for the holidays and make it a little bit more special to give as a gift. I have some Christmas scrapbook paper and just tracing the lid with a pencil and cutting that out with some scissors. Then we're gonna attach that right onto the top of the lid with some stick glue. Now we're gonna decorate up the edges and you could use ribbon if you wanted, but I had this cute washi tape on hand that was the right size to go around here. So I added some hot glue, glued the end down, wrapped that around the edges, hot glued the tail down to keep it all on there so it wouldn't come back off. And then just twist that right onto the candle. It's just a really sweet and easy way to take an inexpensive gift, make it a little bit more special. And like I said, these candles are actually really, really nice too. So you're actually giving a nice gift, just adding those special touches to it as well. Now we use some bath salt to make for some spa themed gift sets, but this one we're gonna use some white bath salt to create some snowy scenes for more decorative purposes. Dollar Tree has these great mason jars that have wire hangers on them. So they make very beautiful little luminaries, pretty much already ready to go. But we are gonna add some of that bath salt into the bottom there. It's gonna give us that frosty snowy look, which is perfect for Christmas time. Take an LED tea light, pop that right down into the bottom bottom and then I also tied on some red and white twine and a little piece of greenery and some berries to really make this look Christmassy. Just a sweet little gift idea and it is so pretty at nighttime especially with the flickering light. I found this really cute jar at Dollar Tree too and it kind of made me think of a snowy Christmas scene so that's what we're going to do with this guy. We're going to take our bath salt again, sprinkle that down into the bottom and of course that is going to give us our snowfall. If you have any big chunks in there just take some scissors and squish those and they will come right out. This is a red truck from springtime with their little fairy villages but you can find red trucks two with their like hot wheels and things. We're gonna add a little bottle brush tree in there to really set the scene and tone, add the lid back on. This makes for a sweet little gift idea, one that is so quick, so easy, and something that somebody would maybe wanna add to their Christmas decor. I especially love getting flowers. So this is one of my favorite gifts in a jar ideas. We're just taking some black ribbon and it was a little bit too big. So I folded it in half. We're making a little Santa belt here, hot gluing it around the outside of our mason jar. And then to make the belt buckle, I have some gray felt, just cut a square and cut a square out of the center and hot glued that onto the middle of our jar. And we're making the cutest little Santa Claus vase. Then you can go ahead, add your water, and of course, add your flowers. These red roses are beautiful and perfect for Christmas time. It gives you that red Christmas vibe. I just love to arrange flowers. These were inexpensive from the grocery store. Added those in there, added some greenery in there, and I just love this. This would be such a sweet gift to give to a teacher, to a friend, to somebody that just needs a little bit of a pick-me-up, but it still has that Christmas vibe, and it was so easy easy and quick to do. You have to let me know which one of these projects was your favorite down in the comments below. Please subscribe if you are new and turn on those notifications so you never miss a new Christmas video. I want to thank you all so, so much for joining me today and I want to wish you all a very happy holiday season. You can click over onto one of the thumbnails popping up on your screen if you're looking for more Christmas inspiration.